right, so my last media that I'll be showing you today is oil pastel. Oil pastel is similar to paint, but it is a dry medium. The colors as you build them will actually blend together and create really interesting dynamic um, work. And so oil pastel is actually the most similar uh, to the finished artwork as far as texture and quality is concerned. Um, to the original. So oil pastel is very similar to the oil paints that the original artists would have been using um, for the impressionist style. So I have here my copy of my sketch that I used uh, the window to trace. I have my color version. Now you guys could have the computer or you could have printout, um, but you want to see the colors so that you can change them. And then I have chosen my color set. So the original colors, again, are blue and yellow. So if we look on the color wheel, um, blue and yellow being our two main colors, um, have a split relationship. And so I'm looking for another set of colors that has three colors in between. So I'm actually gonna pick yellow, orange, and red, violet, just to be consistent with my other media. Um, so you can kind of compare these at the end and decide which kind you want to do. So yellow, orange, and red, violet with the three colors in between. Um, those are the colors that I will be using today. So, when you start off with oil pastel, very similar to paint, very similar to color pencil, when you're doing an impressionist style, your first job is actually to get rid of all your white. So choose your base colors. So for me, my yellow orange and my red purple are the ones that I'm gonna pick. So like here's my yellow, here's my red, my purple. Um, I'm just gonna kind of have those over to the side. I'll need them later when I start building colors. But everything in my picture to start with is either going to be yellow or red purple. Um, so I'm going to start by building up these materials just by pressing lightly. Um, so as you start with this, keep the paper on if you have oil pastels and don't don't press hard. Just start by filling all of your shapes lightly. This um, material does not require that you erase your color, your pencil lines, um, simply because they will sit right on top of those that information. As long as the pencil lines aren't too heavy, aren't too hard. If you have some that are really dark, you can erase those lightly. Um, and as with all materials, to have the impressionist style, you want to keep in mind the direction of your, your marks. Um, so don't like go all one direction or don't make a big crisscross mess um, as you start filling your space. So I'm, these are circular shapes, so I'm kind of going in a circle and I'm not pressing hard. I'm just sort of filling in all of my colors. Um, so I will come back when I've sort of completed my whole artwork. All right, so this is sort of my kind of first set of color. I've sort of laid out my areas of color and sort of have just done a base coat. Um, now my job is to go through and to start creating um, the impressionist lines using my sort of variations of my main colors to create a kind of full and cohesive whole. So as I'm starting this, um, oil pastels are a little bit messy. They're going to get on your fingers. That's okay. Um, just wash your hands when you're done with soap, not just water, um, and it'll come off. As you're going... Keep in mind those short little strokes. Those are the ones that you want to be using. Um, so make sure you're lifting up your tool pretty often. Um, if you have the opportunity to leave your paper on, like this one already had the paper off, so whatever. Um, but if you have the chance where you can leave your paper on, do that because it'll help keep your fingers more clean and it'll help keep the chalk pastel more clean, or oil pastel, I should say, more clean as you work. Um, your oils in your hands are not going to hurt these. It just helps keep the work clean and your colors separated. So as you are kind of working along here, it'll work pretty well. The nice thing or the cool thing about oil pastel is their ability to blend as you build. So let me just show kind of an area here that's like really black or dark here, um, leaving a couple of spots here. And let's say that, like in my original, I want to add some of these marks with a base color. 
like a purple. I can go in and I can put these colors in those leftover spaces and they'll blend together and create um, a really dark, rich kind of depth and it'll create a really interesting, very cool um, image overall. So I don't know if it's showing very well with the black. I'll do another area with yellow. Say I have, you know, uh, in my swirl here, I need some of my yellow orange up in there. So I'm going to add some of my yellow orange and those colors start picking up that base color and mixes them together. So this is really nice, especially around kind of the edges of things where you're wanting to start to get those, um, places where the colors are starting to blend. You can do this with white on top of any color and you can create some really interesting uh, variations or mixes as you work and you start layering. So my next step is now to start layering up my colors um, and really creating an interesting and cohesive whole. All right, so this is my completed um, oil pastel version of The Starry Night by Van Gogh. Um, notice the layers and um, interplay of color, and that's kind of the main thing that is so vital and so important and interesting about Impressionist artwork.